David, remember, we're living off of one paycheck now, okay? Hey, we only have $100 to spend. Okay, Mom, I get it. You're getting divorced. I'm not an idiot. All right. Like, it's my problem. All right. You're so annoying. Ooh, Ma, I want these. They're only $200. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. They're too expensive. We have bills to pay. You never get me anything I want. This is exactly why I wanted to live with Dad. Please, lower your voice. No, you're like the stupidest, most selfish mom ever. No wonder Dad left. An angry and abusive teen throwing a tantrum in the middle of a store. An exhausted and embarrassed mom who just can't keep him under control. Do you tell the boy to step in his mom's shoes and show some respect? Do you give the mom some parenting advice? Or do you simply sneak away from this very personal situation? What would you do? Please don't say such hurtful things. Stop being such an idiot and just buy me the stupid shoe. We're at Sneaker Room in Jersey City, New Jersey, where usually it's the shoes that have attitude. But today, it's mostly David. These are nice. They're black like that. Um, Why are you being so dumb? I'm telling you what I want. They're, they're cheap and ugly. It might look like this guy is too tied up to hear what's happening, but he's all ears. You're being selfish and stupid. He's a parent himself, and his patience with David's rude behavior is hanging by a shoestring. We can't afford them. I need you to understand that. We can't afford. Yes, we can. Being such an idiot. She's being dumb, dude. They're only 200. You want to only afford what she can afford. That's it. Don't talk to your mother like that. We send Lorraine back in. So you're giving me the money? I'm sorry, I don't mean to intervene. He was just trying to see if I was trying to agree with the way he was talking to you. I don't like that at all. To have children with myself. I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. I don't know how it feels to be overwhelmed. But you, you shouldn't allow me to speak to you like that at all. If she could just buy me the shoes, I would stop you. She shouldn't. Rent. She I shouldn't have to. If she can only give you $100 for a pair of sneakers, that's it. You should be grateful for that. Time to introduce ourselves. Anywhere, anywhere in the world, if I would have saw that going down, I would have felt the same exact way. I would have said the same exact thing. A lot of parents feel like they have to be their child's friend these days. And that's another thing. I'm not your friend, I'm your parent. David's back at it. David. And this young man just can't look away. I told you what I wanted. I want these. They're 200. That's not that much. I only have $100. We're just going to get these. I only have 100 You're so stupid. No wonder why dad left. As it turns out, he's 24, not much older than David. But he's certainly far more reasonable. You believe my mom, man? She'll let me get these. Well, she's buying you something, right? Well, yeah, but these are the only ones I want. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I mean, she's spending her, her hard-earned money to get you something. And like an older, wiser brother, he seizes this teachable moment. I've got to the point where I can make my own money now, so I can buy my own shoes. But until then, yeah, my mom bought me stuff. You know, I was always thankful. At least you can do is say thank you. Just say thanks. Caught between mom and her combative son is this next woman. You stop being so stupid. Just tell her to stop being so stupid. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry. I need a minute. Mm -hmm. She tries to play peacemaker. Is your mom as stupid as mine is? She's a good mom. She's not a good mom. No. I don't think so. Now that things have settled between David and Lorraine, what'll happen when our mother-son duo is now daddy and his little angry girl? You never get me anything I want. You're so selfish, I hate you. As this mom looks on, Sophia is busy walking all over her father. Give me the money. I'm not gonna give you. I'm getting these shoes. Give me the money. I'm not gonna give you that. If looks could chastise. What are we gonna do? Because I'm not leaving without these shoes. I can't get them. I wish I could. I just, just try these on. Maybe they'll look good on you. They're ugly. I'm not putting those on my feet. A deep breath seems to help her stay quiet until she hears this. My dad is so stupid. Don't say that. He's not stupid. Yes, he is. He's not buying me the shoes. He works hard for what he has. Don't call him stupid. 
You're embarrassing him right now. He's embarrassing me. He wants me to put ugly shoes on my feet. How old are you? I'm 13. Don't act like that. It's I want these. Dude, you look really spoiled right now. I really wanted these shoes. Why don't you get a job and then get them yourself? I'm not old enough. Duh. Okay, so when you get a job, then you can get them yourself. Duh. Not getting anywhere with Sophia, she offers some advice to the put-upon pop. Walk out the store and don't get her anything. The more you keep giving her the things that she asks for like this, the behavior will continue. Hi there, how are you? My name is John Quinones, and it's the TV show, What Would You Do? You're a mom? I'm a mom. How old are you? Four-year-old and my stepson. That's <laughs> my heart broke for him. She was humiliating him. Your advice to other parents who face this sort of thing? Just, you know, love your kids and do the best that you can. Life is hard, but you'll get through it. And you don't have to get them everything they want. You don't have to. All you gotta do is love them, and they'll, they'll appreciate that. This next woman is quick to object to Sophia's abusive language. You're being so difficult. I'm being difficult? If you would just buy me the stupid shoes, then there would not be a problem. I can't get those shoes. I feel sorry for you, but that would not be my daughter. Excuse me? And when Sophia directs the abuse towards her, she won't back down. Next time you need to mind your own business, because now I'm not getting the shoes because of you. <laughs> We roll one last time. Stop being cheap. I can't afford those. Dad, this is why mom divorced you, because you're so freaking cheap. Sophia. Shanae and Thomas clearly hear what's happening. I'm sorry, my dad is so stupid. I'm sorry you had to see that. That'd be good though, he ain't getting stupid. He gotta be great. But he's being stupid. He's not getting me the one that I want. Yeah, let's not be just stupid. Maybe he don't have any safe So you should get some that you look for. And you know. So I'll leave you with that. My father, you take me to school. I could get joy and stuff like that. I'm not sure. You're about to get some expensive sneakers. Yeah. Maybe Shanae will speak up for Sophia. Well, what do you think? Well, maybe not. I think you should listen to Dad. Look, he got stabbed. Wait, so you're not on my side? No. You're not supposed to be yelling at that in the store. Would you like your kids to yell at you if you was older? You're not going to tell For being right. stupid, sure. Stupid? Oh, man. What's the definition of stupid? Uh, my dad. With that, they've heard enough. Time to meet this couple. You told me, you gave him some advice. Back in the day, if I'd have talked to my moms like that, you remember the switches on the trees? Mm -hmm. It'd have been over, so it's like, if my mom's ain't tolerated for me, like, why should I tolerate it from, you know, my child? This is little Sophia. I feel like I've been punked or something. <laughs> yeah. Cool, man. She's gonna make a million dollars. <laughs>